Your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us. We cannot contain your love. Will surely come find us like blazing wildfire. Singing your name, God of mercy, see you love of mine. I have surrendered to your design. May this offering stretch across the skies. These have. How did you meet Natalie Pierce? Um, I first met Natalie a few years ago when I first came to BBC and she was a senior <laughs> I was a junior. And, <laughs> and but I only really got to know her, I'd say, this year pretty well. And I think we became great friends this year and I'm super happy about that. Just <laughs> hard. I already did, go for it. Alright Natalie, happy birthday. I'm so sad I couldn't be there with you because by the time you're seeing this, I'll be in Oregon. But um, I hope you have an amazing birthday and I'm so blessed that I got to know you better this year. I had a great time on Houseboats and love you girl. If my name was Natalie. We say that a lot so we can all If my name was Natalie, my life would be different because people would call me Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Um, happy birthday, Natalie. Um, so bummed I could not be there. I am in San Diego now. But hopefully you have a great day and a fun night with friends. Um, happy birthday. I love you. You're great. You're awkward. I'm awkward, so it's great. It's we were so awkward. <laughs> this is really awkward. But happy birthday. <laughs> Three. Uh, Natalie, happy birthday. I'm sorry I can't be there. I'm um, going to be back down south, but I just want to let you know that a really awesome summer, getting to know you more. Um, from going on to let's make a deal and dressing up in a cow costume to uh, just making dumb awkward jokes to each other and eating tons of food. It's been a blast, so happy birthday. Josh, if you had a dance... <laughs> Josh. <laughs> no, Josh. Okay, Josh, if you had a dance called Natalie, what would this dance look like? And can you dance it right now in front of everybody? Uh, yes. Dance code, nobody... This is so uncomfortable. It's okay, you don't have to do the dance anymore. <laughs> that was beautiful. If you had a language called Natalie, what would it sound like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey Natalie, happy birthday. <laughs> Just <laughs> it's on. Don't blink. Hey Natalie, happy birthday. <laughs> Wish I could have made it. Uh, hope you're having an awesome time. I love you. I hope you're having a blessed day um, because you obviously bless us all each and every day. So I hope that this could be just a depiction of how much she blesses. So, thank you for being in my life, and thank you, um, yeah, for having a birthday so we can <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> if Natalie Pierce, that name, was a color, what color would it be, and why? Purple. Why? Because she wears purple shorts a lot. And purple is the color of royalty. Purple is the color that your eye is most relaxed to see. Purple is the color of the most interesting animals in the entire world. Purple is also the color of all plant roots before they come out of the ground. 
the other day when I was killing a praying mantis, I squashed it and purple blood splashed everywhere. Continue. And I liked it. <laughs> Is the color of my pee. <laughs> Didn't know that, did ya? <laughs> Nelly Pierce, happy, happy, happy birthday. Now I will continue on to my message. <laughs> Which is going to be serious. <laughs> so I'm gonna get serious right now. We're so awkward going from awkward to serious. This How is what a failure looks like. So easily. <laughs> so sorry that I wasn't able to make it to your birthday. So I'm glad that Tess is doing this because I love you very much. You've been such a blessing to me as a friend. And this past year of being able to take classes with you has was amazing and I'm so sorry that you have to do it without me now. Uh, I understand why it might be so difficult. Why are you panning? <laughs> Keep going. Anyways, I'm really sad that we're not going to be Las Positas buddies anymore. Uh, but I know you can do it and you're so encouraging to me. Your text this morning with just how you are being taught by God through this experience. And that was just very encouraging to me, just seeing the how quickly you turn things to the Lord. And that's definitely something that you have been maturing in the past year. And I've just been very encouraged by your friendship and just how you've been growing and how we've been able to grow together. And have a really meaningful friendship that can still be goofy. So I love you and happy birthday. Heather Crockett, if there was a sound called Natalie Pierce, what would this sound sound like? <laughs> um, happy birthday and I'm really sad that I'm not celebrating your birthday with you on your birthday, but I love you and I'm so glad that you were born and that Jesus knew that you were going to be born on this day. Can we pause for a second because there's this like creature yeah, I saw here. that. I was like, wait a second. Can we just... That's about it. I hope you're having fun playing Tainted and I will see you when I see you. <laughs> Lindsay Ford. If there is a hairstyle called the Natalie Pierce, Natalie Rose Pierce hairstyle, what would it look like? And can you show us right now? Uh, the first thing I thought of was Johnny Bravo hairstyle. Okay. It's like, the like, up like this with like going forward, like. Oh, it's just that. Cool. Kind of. Oh, okay. Maybe a twist in the top. Okay. Except for Natalie Pierce has beautiful hair. So. It would probably also just be like flowing lusciousness, yeah, like, like in a long train. Yeah, kind of like a wedding gown of sorts. <gasps> Happy birthday, Natalie! <laughs> um, I love you so much and I am so grateful, like Heather said, that you were born today. And, um, and every time that you watch this, um, I'm so glad you were born and are alive now. And I love you so much and I love your adventurous spirit and how much you love the Lord and that is displayed in everything that you do and um, how inclusive you are in making people feel so special. Um, I have been so blessed by you and I hope you have a wonderful day today. I wish I could be here with you. I am unfortunately up in Washington. Well, I will be. I'm not right now, but I will be. So I love you and um, I can't wait to celebrate with you afterwards. I love you. Does Natalie Pierce make you want to poop? Oh god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why you cough so much? So, what are some things you want to say to Natalie? Or what are some things you most appreciate about her? Um, well, I noticed right off the bat when I met Natalie that she was the most welcoming, just loving person ever. And I know everyone says that she's awkward, but I feel like she just makes everyone feel super comfortable when she's around. Um, but that's like when I first met her. And I honestly have been so blessed by Natalie Pierce. Um, this is awkward because I don't know if I should be talking to Natalie. Natalie, I'm talking to you now. I don't know if I'm talking about Natalie or talking 
Um, Natalie, you're honestly one of my closest friends, you're my best friend, and I can't even explain to you how beautiful you are and how blessed I've been that you have just been um, so monumental and encouraging in my life, and um, I just love that we could just like spend late nights like praying and talking and just um, really just like, you know, like going to parks and like spending time with the Lord together. Um, yeah, you are one of the biggest blessings in my life, and I want you to know that you are so loved, and I love you so freaking much. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of nuts! <laughs> if Natalie Pierce was a bucket of popcorn, <laughs> what would she be like? What kind of popcorn? Oh, she'd be spicy. She'd be like, kind of like, like Tabasco with some like, like a cayenne pepper on this like popcorn. Pretty buttery, you know. Maybe a little bit of sugar. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds awful. I'm just saying right now. Maybe some M&Ms in there. <laughs> Actually, you know what she would be? She'd be all that plus pasta on top of it and chocolate. And then you'd just like eat it and be like, <sighs> like elf style. So, <laughs> yeah. We're going to proceed with the rest of this interview in your Asian accent. Do you feel comfortable with this? Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Johnny X Lee, if honey was Natalie Pierce, what would you say to her right now? You are so fluffy and you like to smell really bad sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying about Natalie? Are you saying that she <laughs> smells bad? Natalie, I just want to say happy birthday. Um, it's been it's been such a huge blessing to have you in a community and I'm so glad like just even between how everything happened with like Viola and you coming back into town and seriously it, I, it wouldn't be the same you know without you and, um, I always have so much fun when you're around you do so much for you know like everybody you're always thinking about uh, people's birthdays and planning things and it's something that I know everyone really appreciates and I know uh, yeah, it's just great, and um, it's been exciting to see what God's is doing in your life, and uh, I only really look forward to um, spending more time with you, because, you know, I, I don't know, I'll be around longer, and I'm glad you're here. As far as you know, you'll be alone <laughs> longer, yeah, as far as you know. I don't know, I don't know where life will take us, but as far as I know, we're, we're still here, and that's something exciting to know that. expect it and um, it's crazy what God can do and uh, I don't know, I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen and you've been a huge blessing so I hope your birthday is amazing uh, and I love you and yeah so does honey she's right here she, she doesn't look like she loves anybody right now she's kind of just a lump a big white lump a big white Asian lump of Dog food. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> yep. Yep. You just look at my knee. Have you extracted all the flavors? All the knee flavors? Oh, no, nope, now it's my shin. Johnny Lee, if there was a flower named Natalie Rose Pierce, what would it look like? And explain it in heavy detail. awkward. Uh, I think it's got to have some sort of, it would be a flower with nostrils on it. I think that's what it would look like. And where would it grow? In a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Natalie Pierce. How old is Natalie? 22? Oh my <laughs> So you're not in the video. <laughs> if Natalie Pierce were a salad, she'd be
should probably be one with like purple leaves and like pink leaves and orange leaves. Just a bunch of different colored leaves because it's super awkward and um, people would just not know what to do. Uh, but they'd also be interested in it. In it. Like they would want to know more like why are the leaves these colors. So like I would be the type of salad that Natalie would be. I don't know if it exists but Natalie is definitely an awesome and rare breed. Hold on, let me just... Oh, it's so creepy because your face is all distorted right now. Oh, you're frozen. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Nat. Um, happy birthday. I'm really, really sorry I couldn't be there for it. Um, but I hope you're having an awesome, awesome time. I mean, I know you are because I know the people you're with and they're amazing. Um, but yeah, I just want to say happy birthday and say thank you so much for being such a big part of my life. I'll be I'm since seventh grade, awkward picnic, um, table, dress, you know what I'm talking about, um, until uh, like now, you know, and um, we've been through so much together with cheer and all that comes with cheer and um, just growing closer to the Lord as well and um, just all of that, God, God is like blessed our friendship and um, we've been able to grow so much and I'm so grateful for that and I just want to say thank you for always going on random awkward adventures with me and making me laugh um, that's not something that a lot of people do and you can just do it on a whim um, and I love that you're always down for a random adventure even if it includes a Motel 6 um, just to get away for the night and yeah I just thank you so much for being my friend and being such a big part of my life. And I'm excited to see what God has in store for us for the rest of our friendship. Love you. Hi, Natalie. Happy birthday. I just want to share a couple stories with your friends. And I've chosen some words that describe you. I'm going to start with the word miracle because I'm not even sure you knew, but I had a little health condition and they would never have found it unless I got pregnant. So you actually saved my life. So I consider Natalie my miracle. And the second one is, her nickname is Cyclone. And that is because her great grandfather was in a wheelchair and we'd go visit him and she would tear through the house, pulling things down, playing with toys. And to be perfectly honest, nothing has changed in that regard. And the next one is determined Natalie, when she was in sixth grade, she wanted to be a cheerleader. She tried out. She didn't make it. She came to me and said, I want to learn how to be a cheerleader. So we took her to a cheer program. She learned how. She tried out at Foothill. She was an amazing cheerleader for four years and captain um, above and beyond that. So, and then, wow, the best one of all, which all of her friends already know about, is Awkward. When she was a sophomore in high school, she started the Awkward Awareness Club and a safe place for people to go where they could relax and just be themselves. And another word to describe her is brilliant. And Natalie is just, she wanted to go on one of the BBC church trips and she had to memorize a book of the Bible. So she asked, she asked me if I, she could recite it to me. She memorized the whole book of James. I was astounded. She knew it word for word. So all those words describe my beautiful baby girl, and I'm proud of you, and I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Natalie. Hey, you're a talented girl, talented athlete, guitar player, singer. Kind of crazy, but in a good way. And your best quality is you're sold out for Jesus. I want you to have a wonderful birthday. We love you. By the way, if your name wasn't Natalie, it would have been Ruby Kate. <coughs> if Natalie Pierce were a song on this guitar, it would sound like this. <laughs> I just wanted to say a happy birthday and I wanted to tell a really great story about when you were in fourth grade and mom had to go pick you up because you were found rolling in the puddles during recess so she had to come and bring you a change of clothes. That just kind of gives you an example of 
the types of things that you get into. That's all. Happy birthday, Natalie. Meow, 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 meow. Hey, Natalie, happy birthday. I just wanted to let you know that I'm super grateful for you and for your friendship. Um, I'm grateful for all the times that you invest in my life and um, you're there to listen to things that I'm going through and to encourage me with a verse or just send a quick text. Um, and I love you and I appreciate you and I thank you um, yeah, for just taking me out of my comfort zone at times um, in a good way. And I hope you have an awesome birthday and I'm blessed by you. If Natalie Pierce were an eye color, she would be multicolored because her personality is so outgoing and she's super bubbly um, and awkward and multicolored eyes would be pretty awkward. <laughs> if Natalie Pierce were a mammal, she would be a dolphin without a question. She would be swimming in the ocean, hanging out with her friends, having a grand old time, cheering up every bystander on a boat or on shore watching her play because she's awesome and she loves to have fun and she loves to have other people, uh, make other people laugh and have fun with her. <laughs> I'm dying. Happy birthday, Natalie. I love you and I appreciate you in my life so much. You make me smile every time I see you. Uh, you bring me joy on so many levels. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to have known you. And just even the special moments where we aren't laughing, um, just like time of prayer, time of real heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I just appreciate every second I've had with you. Um, I just think you're such a beautiful woman inside and out. You, I think of like, uh, at 1 Corinthians 10, 13, you truly are the epitome of love. You are kind, you are patient. I mean, you, I can go on and on. You are just beautiful and you're wonderful and you bless so many people. So keep it up. Continuing embracing yourself as who you are because God has created you to be magnificent and I appreciate you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if Natalie Pierce had a superpower, her superpower would be to be a fly on the wall so she could awkwardly watch people in their conversations and fly around them while they're talking and they'd have no idea it's her and then she could leave if she felt awkward. and I just wanted to wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday and I love you so much and I'm so sorry I couldn't be there to celebrate with you but I just want to give you a quick little message and say I love you and appreciate you so much and I really value your friendship and I just love how hilarious you are and awkward obviously and um, just the great advice you give and what a great friend you've been to me these past few years and just always holding me accountable and um, listening to me and hearing me out for all my event sessions with you and just always pointing me towards Christ. So I really appreciate that. I'm going to miss you and our big hugs where we jump up and down a thousand times and just having more awkward times with you. But I hope you have a wonderful day celebration and you feel so loved and appreciated and special because you are. Okay. Hi, Natalie. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for your birthday, but I just want to say happy birthday. And I want to remind you of the time, junior year, when me, you, and Caitlin were on Club Sport Marlins. And you made a song for me and Kai, and it involved Jamba Juice, Kai being really not attractive, and swimming with the best swim team ever. I love you, and I hope to see you soon. Definitely gonna see you in Pete's and you can get me that coconut drink like last time. Love you. Bye. If Natalie was a pie, it would be 11 pie because Natalie makes me think of lemonade <laughs> because of the one time she dropped a pitcher of lemonade in my house when she first met her mom, my mom. So. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> Like, you're all like broken in this. You look kind of creepy a little bit. <laughs> okay, great. So she's lemon pie. Um, so if, if Natalie's lemon pie, would her fruit also be lemon? If she were a fruit? No. Her fruit, I'm still sticking with it, will be a pineapple. Because she loves pineapple. And I love pineapple. And I love 
because when you see a pineapple, you're like, oh my gosh, it's a fruit, but it has spikes on it. That's awkward. It's weird. So you might think like, oh my gosh, Natalie's awkward. Like, is she weird? But then you open up the pineapple and it's super sweet. And it's super yellow. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second. She's not Asian. She can't be yellow. Nat, Pat, I miss you. And I hope you come to LA soon. And I have a mountain of pineapples and strawberries. And I miss you. Um, if Natalie were a fruit snack, she'd probably be like the mystery flavor fruit snack because you really don't know what you're going to get with Natalie Pierce. Um, but it's always pleasant. Happy birthday, Natalie. Um, thanks for letting me eat meat thins out of your toes. Uh, and the reason I am Skyping you this message is because I live so far away. And I can't be there in front of you today right now. But that makes our love that much stronger. Uh, kind of like in A Walk to Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Rose, happy birthday! Oh my god, I can't believe you're 20. Time flies. Remember my sixth birthday at Chuck E. Cheese when I tried to jump in the ball pit and then I started suffocating because I was freaking out and I couldn't get out. And you dove in even though you had pizza in your hand and you rescued me from it. And I will never forget that moment. That was just so cute and sweet of you. And do you remember when you gave me all your tokens? Well, actually, I think maybe I, like, stole them from our friend Sean, but then, like, you took it back, and you are like, oh, no, it's fine. Like, we're going to pay you back. Like, it's no big deal. And, like, remember you won all those toys for me? And even though you wanted, like, the Barbie that spun with, like, all the little fairies on it, you just gave it to me instead because that's <laughs> such a thoughtful thing of you. I can't even believe you did that for me. Um, anyways, I'm just rambling here because I'm just so excited about your birthday, and I'm so sorry I couldn't celebrate with you, but um, I definitely ate a piece of cake by myself. I blew up a wish for you, and I can't tell you the wish because I want it to come true, but um, I wish you the best, most beautiful, amazing year, and I can't wait to see you and hang out again. We'll have to totally watch um, I Am Sam and Eat Fudge together again, just like last time. I miss you, and I love you, and I'm sending you a big hug. Happy, happy birthday from uh, I, I got started over. Right. Happy birthday, Oh, come on, James. Okay. Um, actually, Cinco. Hey, Natalie. Great to see you. I hear it's your birthday. Really excited. Hey, wasn't that a great time on the show? Really excited to have you on that program on an episode where we talked about, uh, oh, I got to start over. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's great. We'll keep it. Hi. In honor of Natalie's birthday, we're going to reenact some of her best moments. Happy birthday, Natalie. We love you. Enjoy. One. I love this ball. This is my favorite toy in the whole world.